हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑन मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशंस एंड वी वेर डिस्कसिंग द कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम फ्री वाइब्रेशंस सो टुडे विल बी सॉल्विंग न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन टू द फ्री वाइब्रेशंस so as you can see in the figure we are having a spring mass system so for the spring mass system to derive the equation of motion first we have to draw free body diagram for the spring mass system so as you can see we are having a mass m here as you can see here we are having a mass m here so as you can see here we are having mass m so the force due to the gravity will be downwards that will be given by mass into gravitational acceleration which is mg and the spring will try to pull the mass upward so the upward force having magnitude as k into the deflection of the spring now this condition with which the spring and the mass becomes in equilibrium condition is called as static equilibrium condition now if we displace the same mass by an displacement of x now for this motion if we draw the free body diagram the free body diagram will be consisting of a inertia force which will be always opposite to the direction of force and that will be a pseudo force which is m into x double dot and the spring force which will be spring stiffness into the displacement of the mass for this case the displacement of the mass is kx so the displacement for the mass is x so the total force becomes k into x and if we write down the equation of motion for this spring mass system it will be comprising of mx double dot plus kx which is equal to 0 so we can make this equation into a linear differential equation by dividing this equation by m so we can get the equation as x double dot plus k by m into x is equal to 0 and this k by m we can treat it as x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 where omega n is nothing but the natural frequency of a spring mass system which will be given by k by m so the unit for this will be radians per second if you want the circular frequency which is fn you can get it from omega n by 2 pi and the unit for this will be cycles per second or hertz so in this way we can derive the equation of motion for the spring mass system and also we can get the magnitude of natural frequency for a spring mass system which is dependent on to spring stiffness and the mass attached to it let's go for the second numerical now for the earlier system we can change this equation of natural frequency so let us see how we can do it so now omega n is omega n is written as under root k 
by m. Now, we can do some manipulations to this as we can multiply this by mg. We can multiply the natural frequency equation by g and we can divide it by g. So, inside the root we are having kg by mg. And now, you can see here this mg by k is nothing but from the earlier static equilibrium condition equation which was mg is equal to k into delta st. So, this delta st can be written as mg by k. So, in this equation of omega n, we can write down this as g by delta st. So, with this, if we are able to find out static deflection for the system, they can then we can directly determine the natural frequency of the system. But this is applicable to only single degree of freedom system. So, let us see some of the examples of it. So, you can see here we are having a cantilever beam and one end of the cantilever is fixed and the other end of the cantilever we are having a mass attached which is having magnitude as m and it has been displaced by an amplitude of x and the length of the cantilever beam is l. So, for this case we can recall our knowledge of slope and deflections from the analysis of mechanical elements and we can get the deflection at this point which is delta st we are treating it is written as p l cube upon 3 e i where p we can substitute as mass into gravitational constants l cube upon 3 e i. So, where m is the mass, g is the acceleration due to gravity, l is the length of the cantilever beam, 3 is a constant, e is Young's modulus and i is area moment of inertia. So, if you are putting this equation into a natural frequency equation which was omega n is equal to under root of g by delta st, we can get the value of natural frequency as g by mgl cube by 3 e i and if you are further solving this we can get it as 3 e i upon ml cube. So, with this we can get the natural frequency of the systems which are having single degree of freedom and we can easily get the static deflection and we can put it into the formula of natural frequency and we can get the fundamental frequency of that system. Let us see another example. So, here we are having a pulley and this pulley, one end of this pulley is attached to a spring K1 and the other end, other wrapped string is attached to a fixed frame. And at the center of this pulley, we are having another spring's stiffness attached K2 and the other end of that spring is attached to mass M. Now, if we are assuming that this spring is going to get displaced by delta ST amount. So, if we are able to get the value of delta ST, we can get the natural frequency. So, for this, first of all, we have to see what are the forces. So, force in spring 1 and force in spring 2. So, if we are going to see here the spring K2 will be experiencing a force if we are drawing the free body diagram for this the one end of the spring is going to be experiencing the force W which is nothing but mg and the other end of the spring is also getting going to experience a force W is equal to mg. So, the force in spring 2 is nothing but mg or W which is weight. And now, 
if you are drawing the free body diagram for the spring 1, so half of the load will be experienced by the spring 1 which is W by 2 and half of this load will be experienced by this string which is again W by 2. So the force in spring 1 will be Mg by 2 or W by 2. And now this total deflection delta ST will be comprising of deflection of spring 1 plus deflection of spring 2. So we need to find out the deflections which are happening inside the springs that is spring 1 and spring 2. So what is deflection? So deflection for the spring is treated as force upon the stiffness. So in the spring 1 we are having force as W by 2 and the stiffness of the spring 1 is K1. So similarly if you are going for the spring 2 the force is W and the stiffness for the spring is K2. And now if you are writing it down it becomes W inside the bracket 1 by twice K1 plus 1 by K2. And if you are solving this, so here the spring 1 is going to get deflected by and half of the amount. So that is why here it becomes half of the displacement delta 1 by 2. So that is why it becomes 1 by 2. So this becomes 1 by 4 K1 plus 1 by K2. And if we are solving this, we can get it as 4 K1 So, here it becomes 4 K1 plus K2 upon 4 K1 K2. And now this deflection delta ST, you can put it into the equation omega n is equal to under root of G by delta ST. And we can get the natural frequency for a pulley spring mass system. Now, we can have a spring attachment to the mass something like this. So, in this case we can show the same spring mass system as this, wherein the stiffness as 2k, 2k and we are having mass as m. So, with this we have already seen that how to represent the k equivalent. So, the K equivalent. So, for the K equivalent, if the springs are arranged in parallel, the K equivalent is directly the summation of stiffnesses of both the springs. So, this becomes 4K. And we can, if we are having the displacement of the mass as M by an linear displacement of magnitude x, we can get the natural frequency equation as k equivalent upon m. So, in this case, the k equivalent is 4k by m. So, this is related to the parallel arrangement of the springs and there is only one mass. So, likewise, we will see another numerical wherein the magnitude of the spring stiffnesses are given. So, in this we are having K1 and K2 is equal to 1500 Newton per meter and K3 is 2000 Newton per meter and mass is equal to 5 kg. So, you can see here we are having arrangement again the 5 kg of mass is having spring K2 and K1 here and there is another spring which is attached 
beneath the mass as K3. Now this K2 and K1 is having parallel arrangement. So we can have this as K1 plus K2 and again the system of K1 plus K2 and the spring stiffness K3 we can have it as parallel arrangement we can have k1 plus k2 plus k3 and we can have the natural frequency equation as k equivalent upon m so in this case the k equivalent is nothing but k1 plus k2 plus k3 upon m so we are having k1 as 1500 plus k2 as 1500 and k3 as 2000 divided by the mass is 5 so 3000 5000 divided by 5 this becomes 1000 so the natural frequency is 100 radians per second So the natural frequency you are getting it as under root of 1000 which is if you are doing the math of it which it will be equal to 31.62 radians per second. Now the second of numerical related to the same concept is we are having k1, k2, k3 springs which are arranged in series and k4 and k5 we are having the arrangement as parallel. So, we can represent the same system as k equivalent 1 w and the parallel arrangement we can represent it as k equivalent 2. And now the k equivalent for the first case which are having series arrangement it will be 1 upon k equivalent as 1 by k1 plus 1 upon k2 plus 1 upon k3. Whereas, for the second arrangement, k equivalent 2 is k4 plus k5. And now, you can consider this, again k equivalent 1 and k equivalent 2 are in parallel arrangement. So, you can have the final k equivalent as parallel arrangement which is equal to k equivalent 1 plus k equivalent and we can get the natural frequency as k equivalent upon mass and the unit for this will be radians per second. Now, the students can pause for some time and try to get the natural frequency equation for the mathematical model system shown in the figure. So, let us try to solve the problem shown in the figure. So, you can see this k, k and this k which are having parallel arrangement, it can be shown as directly to k. Then we will have a spring stiffness k. So, let us redraw this. Then the next is we are having serial arrangement as 2k plus k. So, if you are directly calculating the k equivalent, it will be for 2k and k, it will be 2k by 3. So, let us redraw it again, the whole system. Now, 
again we are having the parallel arrangement here 2k plus k 2k by 3 and spring stiffness k so we will have directly the addition of it so this becomes 5k by 3 so 5k by 3 and we are having again the serial arrangement between 5k by 3 and k so it becomes the system becomes 5k by 8 now again we are having parallel arrangement so this becomes 13k by 8 and another stiffness k and we are having mass as m we are having the serial arrangement of it and we can get the k equivalent here for the mass which will be equal to serial arrangement for 13k by 8 plus k so this becomes 13k by 21 so the k equivalent is 13k by 21 and we can get the natural frequency as k equivalent upon m so this is how we can solve the numericals onto the free vibrations we have covered the equation of natural frequency as under root of k by m also we have considered the equation as under root of g by delta st we have applied it to the spring mass system spring pulley system and arrangement of springs in series and arrangements of spring in parallel thank you